Hello, my friends. It is my great joy to join you today so that we can share in the Word of God. Let us begin. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, he cried out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When Jesus saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus asked, Were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Jesus said to the Samaritan, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, my friends, as you can surely guess, today's Gospel reading is about giving thanks or thanksgiving because we have a story in which Jesus heals 10 people and only one of them turns back to acknowledge the gift that Jesus gave them. And imagine what it would be like to be Jesus and like you come along and you have these people, you know, who need healing and you offer them healing and they just, they just go, they just leave and you're like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, um, I'll just, I guess I will go too, I guess. It can be hurtful, you know, when you, when you offer a gift of yourself to other people and to not have that acknowledged by people saying, thank you, or we appreciate your work, it, it, it stings, it does. It makes, it makes us feel uh, taken advantage of. And that's not the purpose of why gifts are given. So today's Gospel reading re reminds us that when someone gives us a gift, we are called to say thank you. And, but Jesus would go another step behind, beyond that. He would say, when we receive a gift, not only do we say thank you, but we share that gift with other people. For example, all of you have been given wonderful gifts and talents by God. And these abilities are things that you are going to, to learn about and develop throughout your time in school. But these gifts aren't just for you, my friends. They are for the whole world. God has given us these gifts so that we may cultivate them and then share them with one another. We also learn from Jesus that um, sometimes we give a gift and people don't get it. And as I said, that can be really hurtful. But something that was really special about Jesus is that even when no one was looking, when he was undergoing his death on the cross and pretty much everyone had abandoned him he still loved anyway and so my friends with our call of thanksgiving i invite you to love at all times by that i mean you may do an action of love and your family may not see it or your brothers and sisters may not recognize it or your friends may forget about it but god is always there god sees the good things that you do and i invite you to offer your gift of love and yes sometimes people will like the nine lepers will take it and and run away with it but jesus is there he sees the good that you do. So please don't ever be discouraged, my friends, by um, when others fail to recognize the good things.
that you offer. God sees it. And eventually, people recognize um, the good that has been done. Like that 10th that leper, he, he was on his way, and then he remembered to come back. And, and that will happen to us too, my friends. Sometimes we have to care and offer love for quite a while before people recognize it. But God is always there. God has always seen the good that you do. So please continue to offer your gifts of love and to say thank you and to share the gifts that you receive from others.